The surveillance video captures it all. Four suspects, armed and dangerous, attempting to invade his southwest side home. The victim was able to get back inside his house, close his door, semi-barricade it, reach for a weapon that was easily accessible. That's when you hear gunfire. The four men retreat, get into their car, but not before the homeowner's bullets hit the windshield. Pima County Sheriff's officials say the homeowner has surveillance cameras installed all around his house. And that was just for his own home security. A 15-year-old at home with his 12-year-old sister when burglars try to break in. That's when investigators say the boy grabbed his dad's assault rifle and started shooting. And he hit one of the men repeatedly. This all unfolded this afternoon in the 2600 block of Royal Place Court. 11 News reporter Sharon Min Chow talked with neighbors and investigators. Anxious family and friends cross the yellow tape into a surreal crime scene. A 15-year-old boy and his 12-year-old sister had been home alone in the Mount Royal Village subdivision. And then about 2.30, a pair of home invaders tried the front and back doors, then broke a back window. A young boy was protecting his sister. You know, he was in fear for his life and, and for his sister's life. The brother grabbed his father's assault rifle and knew what to do with it. Gun control. This is something I've been very animated about uh, yep. all this year with all the various gun outrages, especially yep. the uh, appalling thing at the cinema in, in, uh, in Colorado. Yep. Why is it that Americans, to me it seems, so many Americans cannot divorce their right to defend themselves with a gun to the apparent right to go and buy 6,000 rounds of ammunition, high-powered assault weapons, and go and murder Americans? Well, the best thing I can tell you, Piers, is this. Mexico has strict gun control. You cannot own a gun in Mexico. And they had 20,000 people dead last year in the drug cartel wars. But Mexico has a very particular problem involving drugs. I can right. cite you Britain. All right. Average, well, let me just okay. throw it back at you. In Britain, for example, an average of 35 people a year are murdered with guns. In Germany, it's about 40 to 50. France, the same. Spain, the same. Italy, there's a pattern here. America, 11 to 12,000 a year. Yep. This country has more guns than anybody else yep. and more gun murders. Yeah. It, it's inarguable, isn't it? No, not it at is. all. It is. Because, because I was in the Philippines physically the day Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law and made himself a dictator. And the first thing that dictator did, he gave the people of the Philippines two weeks to turn in all their guns or it was the death penalty. Now, why would a dictator do that? Why would he make his number one priority when he took over as dictator to disarm the public? The Second Amendment is there, so and it was put in there not for hunting and fishing, like they like to say, because back when they did it, if you didn't hunt or fish, you didn't eat. It was put in there so the citizens would have the ability, if their government became oppressive, they could defend themselves against oppressive government. And when they get our guns, they can have their world tyranny. While the government buys 1.6 billion bullets, armored vehicles, tanks, helicopters, predator drones, armed, now in U.S. skies, being used to arrest people in North Dakota, the Second Amendment isn't there for duck hunting. It's there to protect us from tyrannical government and street thugs. All right, how many people here die because of car accidents of drunk driving? Do we go to the Ford Motor Company and tell them stop making these automobiles because people get drunk and kill people it's in a, cars? It's a facile argument. It's a what? It's a facile argument. There's no equivalence between drunk driving and lethal firearms. My point Wait is, a minute. I have a no car problem. is a 2,000 pound projectile no that can problem. go 100 Jesse, miles an hour. Jesse, I have no problem with an American believing that their right under the Constitution is that they can defend themselves, especially in their own home if they're being attacked and they have a, a weapon. It's also That's against fine. government. I have a big problem with a disturbed young man, as we saw in Colorado, being able to buy 6,000 rounds of ammunition and a high powered assault weapon and go into a movie theater and blow away 70 Americans. I have a big problem with that. Well, and nobody else in America in high office seems to share that big well, problem. Well, I'll tell you what, Piers. I have a conceal and carry license. Had I been in there, I would have taken this guy out before he could have killed that many people.
It was just a normal day at the Palms Internet Cafe in Marion County. You can see the customers chatting and playing their games. But they were interrupted by these two men. Watch as deputies say Davis Dawkins and Dwayne Henderson come in and wave a gun, pointing it right at the customers asking for valuables. But just seconds later, someone steps in. Look at the right of your screen, a man running with a gun, firing at the suspects. From another angle, look at the guys in black clothing with masks, one with a gun, the other with a bat. You see them, and then you don't. The next time they come into view, one of them is diving on the ground. The man, 63-year-old Samuel Williams. He's right behind them, firing. They leave. Williams, calm as can be, locks the door and waits for police. When questioned by detectives, he said he was with his wife at that cafe and was afraid they were going to shoot someone. He told them he was scared. And you wonder, did he hit either of the guys? He sure did. Marion County detectives found them at the hospital, both with gunshot wounds. So there you go. Williams, however, will not be charged. Dawkins and Henderson, yeah, they are being charged with attempted robbery. Well, I think that, again... But a... because, let's remember, police can't stop crimes. Police show up after they're over. Remember that. So when you talk about me not being able, if there would have been a legitimate conceal and carry in that theater, quite possibly they could have taken this guy out and saved people's lives. Or you lives. could have had the gunfight at the OK Corral in there and lost even more lives, couldn't you? That's what could happen. Anyway, let's take a well, break. What roll of the dice would you like? You'd prefer to be unarmed? How many people here think I make crackpot points? Yeah. <laughs> One. How many think I make sensible points? I don't care what the justification is, that you are allowed in this country to own a semi-automatic weapon, much less a handgun. But what do you need a semi-automatic weapon for? The only reason I think you need it is, Pierce, challenge Alex Jones to a boxing match, show up with a semi-automatic that you got <laughs> legally, and pop him. I'd love to see that. <laughs> In uniform. <laughs> I'll borrow my brother's We only have the problem in our cities and, and, and unhappily in our schools where people like you have been able to get laws put on the books that keep people from being able to defend themselves. I honestly don't understand why you would rather have people be victims of a crime than be able to defend themselves. It's incomprehensible. You're an unbelievably stupid man, aren't you? I, it seems to me that you're morally obtuse. You seem to prefer being a victim to being able to prevail over the criminal element. And I, I don't know why you want to be the criminal's friend. What a ridiculous argument. You have absolutely no coherent argument whatsoever. You don't do it. You don't actually you have give a, no... you don't give a damn, do you, about the gun murder rate in America? You don't actually care. All you it care seems about to me that is the facts right don't bother you, do they, Mr. Morgan? To, you would like facts, to see but let's facts go don't seem this. to they bounce right off of no, your no, let's head. Just deal with you're, some facts. you're speaking oblivious to what we do know is that when you go to an area in the United States where guns are, are freely available, readily able to be carried legally, there you find our lowest murder rates, lower than the murder rates in Europe. You go to our cities where we have cracked down on guns and people can't defend themselves and that's where the criminals have a field How day. Many 80 people a day die in America from gunshots. And 75 of them to 78 of them, statistics by the Uniform Crime Report by the FBI and the, UN, and the UN study on violent crime, 78 of those 80 are let out of their cages by corrupt judges and prosecutors who know that recidivism is out of control, know that they'll commit the crimes again, and they let them walk through plea bargaining, early release, and programs. They still Kiss can't... my ass. Yeah. Where you have the most armed citizens in America, yeah. you have the lowest violent crime rate, where you have the, high, the worst gun control, you have the highest crime rate. Pierce, choose one. Do you want a lot of crime? We have it. Gun-free zones. Do you want less crime? We have that. More people with concealed weapons permit. Why do you guys resist that statistic? Well, and I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? That's why you're going to fail, and the establishment knows, no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. Yeah.